my dear friends, do you know what binocular vision is? For, so basically, binocular vision is when we look at things with two eyes. And it's something that's very important because by using binocular vision, we have depth perception. So by looking at things with two eyes, we have a sense of how near or how far something is. And if one of our eyes is uh, obstructed, then we lose binocular vision. We lose depth perception. We can't tell how near or how far something is because our field of vision is biased, biased towards the seeing eye. And even though we can see with one eye, we do not get the full experience as compared to looking at something with binocular vision. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus told his disciples, Judge not and you will not be judged. He also warned his disciples that they shouldn't just notice the splinter in your brother's eye and you fail to notice the plank in your own eye. And he further added that if you want to remove that splinter from your brother's eye, first you need to remove the plank in your own eye. While we try as much as possible to follow the teachings of Jesus, but from our own experience, we know that it's very difficult not to judge. But I think the question we need to ask ourselves is this, whether we can judge fairly. Do we look at a person with binocular vision to see this person in completeness, to understand this person as someone who is imperfect, but also see that this person has many good redeeming qualities? Or do we demonize this person? Do we look at this person with a biased kind of vision because one of our eyes is being blocked by that metaphorical plank that Jesus spoke about and we lose binocular vision. We look at this person without any depth. We consider this person as someone who is shallow, someone who is not good. But my question to you is this, my friends. If we do this, who is the shallow one? The person you are judging or yourself? My dear friends, try not to judge. But if you have to judge, judge fairly. And if you can do so by considering not only the flaws of this person, but also think about the many good things, many good qualities this person has to offer.